today I'm back with a new makeup tutorial. Today I thought that I would film a kind of like summer night outlook. I was actually inspired by this picture that I saw of Lily Galici. I thought it was so pretty, so flattering. Very neutral eyes and then a pop of teal on the lash line and then a very rich red orange lip. Very classic but you still get a nice pop of color. I actually filmed this while getting ready for work. so. I thought that this would be a great time to kind of get a new makeup tutorial out. Um, so if you guys are interested in learning how I created this look, then please keep watching and I'll show you how. Starting off this look by moisturizing my skin with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. Just really letting my skin soak all of that in so everything glides down nice and smooth and so that my skin's nice and hydrated. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer just to make sure my foundation glides on over any fine lines or pores um, and to make sure it stays all day. This is seriously my new favorite primer of life. Then I'm going to color correct any of my dark spots um, from Acne. This is the green uh, color correcting concealer by NYX and I really like it because it allows me to use less foundation um, so that way I'm not constantly going over those areas with foundation. This instantly just cancels out the red. Um, and I'm also going to focus this around that nose area that tends to get red and just lightly smooth this over my cheeks. Then I'm going to cancel out the blue undertones under my eyes using this orange shade in my MAC uh, color correcting palette. I'm doing a light sweep of that because I got literally barely any sleep last night. Then I'm going to use my NYX HD concealer to prime my eyelids. I forgot how much I loved this concealer for priming and for under the eyes. It's literally amazing and it's $4.99 at Ulta. Then I'm going to take the shade Gimme Gorgeous by Buxom. It's a really nice neutral brown shade. I'm going to buff this all throughout my crease using my M504 by Morphe. Just so that everything has something to kind of blend up into. This is like the best neutral transition brown shade to use all in the crease. And I'm working this out kind of sloppy with no really specific rhyme or reason. Just buffing this all in my crease. Next I'm going to take the shade Frappe by Makeup Geek and I'm going in with my Morphe M330 brush. I'm putting this a little bit deeper in my crease. This one has more of like a warm red undertone to it so I really just kind of wanted to add some warmth to the eyes. Um, but again I'm not being super precise but I do still want to keep this under the brown that I initially placed in my crease. Next, I'm going to take that middle shade in my uh, Brow Bar To Go by Gerard Cosmetics. I'm taking that same brush and I'm literally just placing it on that last third of my actual eyelid and then buffing that into the crease. This is going to give me some more definition, but I'm using that same M330 brush because I don't want it too precise. I still want it very smoky and blown out. I don't want any crisp edges, um, but I did want to define my crease a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take MAC Nylon, and I'm using that on that first third of my eyelid um, and on my tear duct to really open up the eyes. I love this for like that inner corner highlight and for under the brows. So I'm just packing that on with a synthetic brush to make sure I get the most pigment. Then I'm going to take the shade Woodwink by MAC. It's really not showing up as true to color on camera, but it's a nice bronzy gold shade, just like a true beautiful bronze. And I'm just packing this all over my eyelid with a synthetic haired brush to make sure I get the most pigment and the most shine from this eyeshadow. This is literally one of the most prettiest eyeshadow shades ever. If you're going to get any MAC eyeshadows, I definitely recommend Woodwink because it's gorgeous. And I don't want to go over the browns. Um, and then I'm going to just kind of go back over with no extra product and my M330 brush just to soften up the edges and make sure that there are no harsh lines. For foundation, I'm going to mix my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and my MAC Studio Fix. My Giorgio Armani is in the shade 6.5 and my MAC Studio Fix is in NC25. 
I'm mixing those together. This is literally like the most perfect um, foundation mixture for me at the moment. When I want my foundation to stay in place all day, I want to have a nice glow. Um, and the color is just perfect for my complexion right now. And I'm buffing that all over using my Morphe foundation buffing brush. Then for under the eyes, I'm taking the shade Claire in my NYX HD concealer. And I'm just using that to highlight under my eyes. I'm also going to bring that down the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and on my forehead just to highlight that whole area. Then to buff all of that out, I'm using my Sephora Flawless Concealer Brush. I'm going to start by just lightly buffing out the edges because I want to keep that area nice and highlighted because in that picture of um, that I was referring to, that area was nice and highlighted. So I'm just going to kind of go over the perimeters, pat that in my eye, but I don't want to rub too much because again, I want it be to be nice and bright. And I always like using a very light hand when buffing out the concealer because again, I don't want to move the product too much. Then I'm going to take my Ulta Press Powder in the shade Banana. I'm going to take a powder puff and really focus this on that nose area because that is the part that tends to break up the most um, with my foundation. And then I'm also just going to put that on all of the areas that I highlighted with the concealer. And then for the areas that I didn't highlight with the concealer, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay uh, Foundation Powder in the shade Light Medium. And I'm going to buff that using a Sonia Kashuk uh, buffing brush. And I'm going to go in circular motions just to set the outer perimeters of my face. Then I went back to the eyes. I took this Sonia Kashuk. It's this glitter quad. And I took that really sparkly bronze shade. And I just packed that all over the lid just to add some more brightness and to add some more dimension to the eyes. These eyeshadows are beautiful and they're at Target for a really good price. And then I decided to smooth out all of the powder with a fluffy powder brush. To contour, I'm using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm taking my Eda brush and just lightly chiseling out my cheekbones so that they're nice and defined. And then I'm also just going to kind of bring it up to warm up my cheeks and I'm also going to put this on my forehead, along my jawline, and so forth just to warm up the perimeters of my face as well. I'm also going to contour my nose using uh, just a flat top shader brush. I'm going to lightly just define that and kind of blend it out using that same Hoola powder. And then I'm going to take that powder puff with any extra powder and I'm just going to use that to kind of blend that out. And I'm also going to use that to kind of clean up under my contour as well. I'm going to take my Morphe blush palette. I'm going to mix these two shades and apply that to my cheeks. Then I went ahead and I lined my eyelids using my L'Oreal eyeliner uh, pen. I really like this because it's super black and it gives a lot of pigment. Super easy to do that wing. And then I took that same Frappe shade and worked that along my lower lash line just to smoke it out just a little bit. Then I took my uh, Rimmel Scandal Eyes Teal. It's a eye shadow, cream eyeshadow and pencil and I put that on my waterline just to make the eyes really pop. And then I went in with my L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Mascara to prep my lashes for falsies. I really focused it on my lower lash line because that is what I wanted um, to really stand out the most. Because I will be applying these false lashes by Kiss. I believe it's the shade, or the, not the shade, it is the Lash Flirty. Um, and they're super voluminous. I did that off camera. And then I went in with Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and applied a very generous amount of that to my cheekbones and along my nose, cupid's bow, forehead, and chin just to add a very nice glow. I took the shade Cola by Italia and used that to line my lips. It has a nice red undertone to it, like a brick red. So I'm just lining my lips, filling in the sides. Sorry if you can hear my dog. My dog? Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Uh. 
And then I took the shade Nectarine by Estee Lauder. It's the most gorgeous brick red shade, and I use that to fill my lips. And that is it for this makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!